Back in 2019, in a very personal essay for ESPN, he made history as the first active player in the NFL to come out as bisexual. And as we begin our celebration of Pride Month, former NFL defensive end R.K. Russell is with us to discuss his new book, The Yards Between Us, a memoir of life, love, and football. R.K., thanks so much for being here. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Doing great. Uh, it's been four short years since that essay on ESPN. I can only imagine the whirlwind that followed. But now here we are. You've written this book. I mean, you're talking about your experience uh, so publicly as an ambassador for the LGBTQ plus community. How are you feeling these days? Oh, my God, I feel great. Life has been um, wonderful and full to me. I think I've allowed for genuine love and connection to come to my life when I came out and when I opened myself up to the world in that way. And also... To see sport grow and transform, specifically male sports in the NFL, has been a huge part of my mission and my goal. Uh, it's something I continue to champion and something that we've made progress on. So, you know, life is great. You were in your late 20s when you wrote that essay, but obviously this was uh, something that you had been wrestling with internally for quite a while. You mentioned that you only knew one openly gay student at your high school in Creekview. You would catch him just standing there, staring off into the distance, trying to breathe, hiding in plain sight. What was the process like for you going through your past and what were probably a lot of painful experiences knowing where you've ended up today? Yeah, it was definitely one that I would consider to be therapeutic. Um, to see your life in full and to analyze those moments, um, the lessons that they taught you, the hardships that you not only went through but overcame, uh, and to see also the bigger picture, how things that happen when you were a young boy influence the young man that you are. Um, and it, it helps you inform you of how to move forward, um, what you want for your own future and those around you. But the, the process, though challenging, is one that is motivating and inspiring for me personally because everything that I've written about, I knew that I had gone through and I had overcome. Um, so I wanted to also share that message with every young reader, um, every sports fan, every LGBTQ plus person, and I hope to do that through that book. What was the reaction from your fellow athletes and the sports community after you came out? It was a great celebration. Anyone that knew me personally knew the hardships that I had gone through as a human being, as a black man in America, as a football player, and to know that I had also carried the burden of this secret with me or the shame, um, the stigma, the stereotype, the homophobia that I had gone through, all that as well, granted nothing but respect from everyone that knew me, players, coaches, mentors, um, peers in general. So it was definitely a celebration for me and something that I want all LGBTQ plus people to feel, something I want all athletes, both closeted and out, to feel. And it was a moment that I only look back with with the greatest of feelings about but I uh, uh, in that same vein I would imagine that this book you also want to extend to people who are not in the LGBTQ plus community to also share about your experience of course I think books are a great way to see humans for just who they are just as humans and to create empathy I think empathy is the biggest thing that each of us can work on that we can continue to grow and that helps us be allies helps us be brothers teammates friends um, and just helps us get through this life because I think with almost 8 billion people on this world we're not meant to go through life feeling alone or isolated um, or not included so I think this book yes it's a great message for those who are LGBTQ plus people in sport outside of sport but it's it's also to extend a hand to those who are not like me, to allow you to read about someone's journey and, and to see them as just being a human being. And did I read correctly that you're actually, it's not just a book, you're teaming up with Sony Pictures, you're gonna turn the yards between us, not just into a series, but a comedy series? Yes, The Yards Between Us is going to be a comedy series. Uh, Gabrielle Union has been a collaborator in this. She'll be co-executive producer, and she really was the one that brought the idea of comedy to me, to disarm people with a laugh, to, to have people sit together and talk about topics that seem to be hard topics, um, but talk about them with a grain of salt and with joy and humor, and hopefully we will disarm people so that we can have the conversation of what it is to just be a human being. Uh, I know that she's been very complimentary of your book as well. Uh, I'm curious, you know, as, as we're entering Pride Month here, RK, it, we as a society can tend to put people into boxes, you know, based on whatever boxes they may check in terms of gender, in terms of race or things like that. How do you view yourself and your own identity? I am a black bisexual man. That's what I am. That's what I've always been, regardless of the times that it's taken me to realize it, the intersections uh, that I embody, the communities that welcome me and that I feel invited to. But at the end of the day, the only box, the only label that really matters for all of us is that of being human. I fight for the LGBTQ plus community because of the disparity. I fight for the black community because of racism and things like that. But at the end of the day, we're all human. 
the fight for equality and love is something we should all champion for all communities and all people. Do you think that a younger you would ever imagine you'd be doing interviews proudly saying you're a black bisexual man? <laughs> no, not at all. A younger me was just trying to live life, um, find joy, and I think that my mission now, the book, The Arts Between Us, everything that I do is to make sure that young people can do that, regardless of the beautiful communities that they embody and the labels that they carry or that are placed on them. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you. R.K. Russell, thanks so much for your time, and you can pick up The Yards Between Us wherever books are sold. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.